Happy Saturday. I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku with a quick check on the tropics and as expected didn't take long right after all those weeks with not a single named storm in the Atlantic. Now we've got two that have developed just this month, right? Last couple of days. Danielle is now a tropical storm, was a hurricane briefly yesterday, now downgraded, kind of losing a little bit of convection as this thing has just been stationary. Not could, not expect it to be an impact. Uh, it'll just be a fish storm hanging out over the open waters. Then Earl is new, developing late Friday night as a tropical storm. You can see there near the Leeward Islands. And we'll watch this one closely as it continues moving north and westward. So here's a look. Tropical storm Earl as of this morning. Top winds at 40. It's a weak tropical storm. It's dealing with quite a bit of wind shear, which kind of will inhibit significant development over the next couple of days. Now could produce some rain for parts of the north, northern Leeward Islands, uh, maybe into the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico uh, here over the weekend as it continues. It's basically west northwest trajectory there at about 13 miles per hour. And then the question is what happens in the long term? It's expected at least some of the models kind of have it eventually getting caught with a trough that will develop over the Atlantic and that should shift it away from uh, say the Bahamas and perhaps Bermuda, definitely far away from the United States, but it could kind of stall out here as it uh, eventually gets pushed along. But generally speaking, we're not worried about a U.S. impact here, but we will continue to keep our eyes on it. You can see all the computer models in agreement. The system struggling a little bit, as you can see, not the most organized tropical storm, uh, but you can see the, the computer models pretty consistent with it kind of moving out in, uh, into the open waters of the Atlantic. Now here's Danielle. Was a hurricane, as I mentioned. Top winds now at 70, so it is now a tropical storm. And part of the reason is this thing has not been moving. It is now west at 1, just a single mile per hour. So as a result, it's upwelled some cooler waters, and it's not necessarily too, too healthy. But again, we were never worried about Danielle as it'll kind of drift to the west and eventually to the north. May we strengthen uh, some back to hurricane status. We'll watch it. But as you can see, uh, this is also not a U.S. concern. So here we go. Uh, we had three named storms. Now we've got two, Danielle and Earl, uh, which have developed over the last couple of days. Fiona would be next on the list. No sign of that system happening anytime soon. But as is typically the case, September is an active month for us. We are now just 10 days, or I should say a week away uh, from the start from the peak of the season, which is September the 10th. Uh, so no surprise that things are waking up out there in the Atlantic. And we know this time of the year, Easterly waves rolling off the coast of Africa really have a good shot at developing and typically follow along that trajectory along a pretty strong Bermuda high with impacts possibly for the Caribbean islands or the United States. This is kind of the area that we're watching for possible development this time of the year. And of course, if anything changes or if anything's of a concern, we'll keep you posted as always on myfoxhurricane.com. Have a great day.